Welcome back in with King Family to another F1 Clash video. We're here for part two of our opening round video. And so far in the opening round, we've do, we're, we've been doing pretty well. Uh, we've gone four 47s and we're looking to go four more uh, in the last four. So let's go see uh, what we could do. Remember to smash the like button if you haven't already done so. And subscribe if you're not yet subscribed. Let's jump on into this first race and see what we could do here at Miami. Nine percent chance of rain here at Miami, and it's a wet qualifiers. So let's see. Our drivers will qualify in the wet here. Nice P2 P4. That's looking good. It's the best we've done so far. All right. So since it's wet, we're gonna go. Uh, I'm not gonna use the hex, though. I'm trying to get a uh, max score. We're gonna go tune uh, and. Uh, we're gonna go exception. All right, let's go see what we could do here. Hope I hope it's not bipolar weather. Uh, yeah, three minutes, so it's not bipolar weather. Right, let's go fast start method real quick. Go drivers. Nice inside line there from Ocon. Can he hold? Yes, he can. Hold off Perez. And there we go. Nice. So a great start here for our drivers. We're just gonna let them go for a little bit, create a little bit of distance. And uh, then we're gonna slow down Ocon and let Perez go uh, from there. All right, so let's cut these off so we don't go to pit before we want to. Now we're gonna cut down our Ocon there since he has a nice little lead. And we're gonna let uh, it continue to go for Perez. All right, so we want to try and do four laps with Ocon and we're going to do three uh, with Perez here. All right. So we're going into Perez final lap. I think I'm going to have to slow him down for him to get that final lap complete. Uh, then we're gonna take a pit stop with no servicing because we're gonna have to do two pit stops with Perez. So we're gonna take one with no servicing. For Ocon, we we'll possibly only do a, we we'll possibly still do a two stop strategy as the track is gonna dry out at about lap seven to eight. So we wanna bring Ocon onto some fresh tires. You know what? I'm going to boost Ocon here. I'm going to also bring him in for no servicing for a no service pit stop uh, so we can get him out there boosting for two laps. <coughs> All right. Yeah. So we want to, we want Ocon to be out there boosting for two laps. So our next pit stop will be coming to soft tires is what I'm thinking. So we would have been going around with Ocon there for another lap, but uh, we've pulled him in with no servicing so we could boost, uh, create some distance as the track is about to start drying out. So at lap six, uh, we're going to come back possibly to soft tires at lap six. Right, nice distance created from both drivers. Five. We're gonna cut down there, and we're gonna cut down Ocon there as well because we want them to go to lap six, and we have a nice little lead uh, on our drivers here. So Perez can do another lap uh, currently. Uh, before we bring him into pit, he has the service in time to do so. All right, so here comes a track now. We're going to come back to soft switch servicing. And we're basically going to do the same with or Ocon soft switch servicing. Now, here's the question. Is the AIs are going to go to pit now? No, they did not. So they decided not to go to pit in that lap. If they had gone to pit there, they would have come back to regular tires and that would kind of make them a little bit slower. So that would have been a good news for us, but no worries. We're still 
secure in the one two ear as we bring in now or Perez for his stop and we'll boost Ocon uh, from there in for his stop uh, to those regular tires. Then we could just go to regular driving from here, 26%. So our soft tires have now taken full impact. Ocon sitting in the pits for a very long time there, uh, but we're back out. And we could just cruise with both drivers from there uh, to finish. And that's another 47 points secured for us there. All right, so it's looking good so far. Three more to go. And then we go to the finals tomorrow and hopefully we can uh, do the same. All right. So let's just wait for our drivers to finish their race here. Let's go track side onto Perez. Rival suffering a breakdown, did not service on his pit stop. Wanted to get a fast pit stop in there, the rival Ocon. There we go. Nice P1 win for Perez. And a nice P2 finish for Esteban Ocon as well. All right, so let's jump on into our next race and see what we could do at Italy. Let's go. Here we go for our next race, Italy. 56% chance of rain here and it's a wet qualifier. So let's see where we get. Come on guys, get up there, get up there. Oh, 2-4, nice. That one was pretty close in qualifying. All right, so Italy. Uh, it's gonna be wet in the middle, so we wanna play rain. So I'm gonna go for uh, Tune on Perez. I should go for like Tune on Ocon. Uh, and I'm gonna go, yeah, let's go that don't want to use any hex the hex would have been the be better boost to go with Ocon but um, I don't want to use any hex at all saving those tomorrow maybe on the finals then we'll use some hex pretty decent start from both drivers down the inside goes Ocon pushing off Perez to secure P2 nice nice there we go aggressive drive in from both or drivers here all right, so we're gonna let Perez go. We're gonna do three laps for Perez. We're also gonna boost him for about two. And then we're gonna come back. Let's cut down Ocon. We wanna do four laps with him. But since he's out in front, we might be able to do three laps with Ocon as well and get a free pit stop. So let's keep Ocon fired up. Let's see what tires is behind Ocon hards. All right, so Perez on hard tires behind Ocon. We're gonna keep Ocon fired up here. Uh, and keep him going. We're gonna go three laps with Ocon as well. Let's cut down Perez so he doesn't run out of tires. Then we're gonna do no servicing in the middle stint. And it looks like our Ocon can go for four still, but we might just go for three with Ocon. <clears throat> All right, let's boost Ocon here. I'm gonna bring him in for soft with no service in as well. I want him to create distance on Perez and close the gap to Or Perez. Create distance on AI Perez, close the gap to Or Perez. Let's boost in Or Perez now. And he should be in when Or Perez is on his way out. As this is a no service in stop, so the pit stop time will be fast, especially with Perez with that fast pit stop boost. All right, there we go. Nice, nice. All right, so now we're just gonna boost for two laps and then come back to those wet tires. Uh, that should be bringing us to the finish uh, <clears throat> from there. Three to five, three to five, so we're good to go to finish on those wets. All right, so let's slow them down, let them cruise a bit as we're coming around for that fifth lap, create some distance. 
Now we could boost them, boost them from there and put in our go to pit orders for those wets. And that should be another 47 points for us. And uh, no problem. All right, hopefully we don't see a safety car. Even though if we do say see a safety car, we're still in the in a great position. Uh, here. So we're going to just cut to regular driving as we go on in for our wet tires with servicing. Regular driving. Rain has not started yet, but it will be starting in 10 seconds. And we are already on uh, wets. The only two cars out there on wets right now. Other than Ocon at the back of the Alonso at the back of the pack, the pack there. All right, so there we go. Now we could just cruise. Rain has started uh, to finish, and that's another 47 points for us. We'll definitely take it. All right. Looking good there. So currently we're just cruising here, waiting for the race to finish up uh, as we have secured the 1-2 final lap. We're just going to cruise around here for that final lap. <coughs> and then our next race is going to be on Austria, where we need to put up the fastest lap if we're going to put up any challenge for a top spot. Wow, he just glitched you there. Perez, he just glitched you there. Nobody was holding him up. Alright, so here we go. Finishing the race. Ocon on his way across the line as well. There we go. Awesome race there from Ore Drivers. Uh, we did pretty well there. Uh, so let's jump on into our next race and see what we could do in that one. Here we go for our next one. We are on Austria for this one. The Red Bull Ring, the track where you are gonna get the fastest lap this event. Uh, let's see where we qualify. Come on, there we go. Ooh, three, six, looking good. We'll take that. All right, so since Perez is out in front, we're gonna go, and go ahead and give him uh, the vice so he can go for the fastest lap. As for Ocon, uh, I want to give him something with fuel. I'm going to give him the Eclipse so he can follow uh, Perez here. All right, let's go. I'm going to get the fast start method in there. Perez down the inside. What a drive from him. Come on, Ocon. You could follow. You could follow Ocon inside. There you go, Ocon, there you go. Cut that off, Perez. All right, we're gonna slow down Perez a bit here. Cut that off, Ocon, slow him down a bit. Then we're gonna get Perez flying for his fastest lap. We're gonna put some support to Ocon as well. All right, so wow, we have Perez up ahead. So we can squeeze by with Ocon. There we go, squeezing by as Perez is flying, setting his fastest lap. And we're gonna give some support to or Ocon as Verstappen is on mediums as well, hitching behind. And so we're gonna take a no service in pit stop with or Perez here. And we'll let our Ocon continue to cruise. Then we're gonna give some support to Ocon for two laps as we're bringing him back in P lap four so now we just want to create distance with Ocon to that p3 car who should come to pit in lap four as well so we're gonna bring Ocon to some softs with no servicing as we let Perez keep flying doing his thing
All right, so we see P3 did not stop. Well, we use P1 to basically uh, lop everybody, slow them down. Right, we're gonna bring two softs now with servicing. Where is Ocon? Right on the back of Verstappen. Now, can you pass? Yes, you can as Verstappen goes to pit. Now we're gonna create as much distance as possible with our Ocon and then we're gonna make a pit stop with service in this time. Or we could go around for another lap and do it in lap seven uh, with Ocon. So we get enough distance on P3, who is gonna be going to pit. Wanna create as much distance as possible. So we get a free pit stop with our Ocon here with service in. I think we have good distance and P1 Perez can just cruise around from here. And good going from Ocon now to go into pit as P3 is way way around there so he should not be able to catch us uh, on our exit here and Perez should have set a fastest lap as well. So we could just cut Ocon now to regular driving uh, and let him cruise uh, on home from there as this P1, uh, P47 uh, points is secured. All right, so another 47. So we have only one more race after this one. And uh, that's going to be Saudi Arabia, Jeddah, where it all started. And we just need to put up a perfect score there at Jeddah. Uh, and we have completed our opening round, scoring all 47s, which is epic. New personal best that we've ever done in the 2021 season. 2022 season, I should say. All right. There we go. All right. So one more and our opening round is secure. Let's jump on into it and see what we could do in that one. Here we go for our final race of the video. We are back at Jeddah. And it has been a great event so far. Let's see where we qualify. Nice P2, P6. That's pretty good. And so we're going to go uh, with Eclipse for Ocon. And then we're going to go Dead Fast for Perez. We, do, we might don't need to use a dead fast. I could use like an instinct because he's already out there. But yeah, you never know with this game. So you want to use your best uh, whenever you're trying to go perfect. All right. Fast start method real quick. All right, good start. On the inside, Ocon. Good try, good try. He got blocked. Then he got a reverse inside. So he moves up to P5. As Perez continue to pull away. Let's see what tires are in front of Ocons. We have softs, a good amount of softs. Move out the way, Leclerc, all the way. There you go. All right, we're going to cut down our Ocon there, and we'll cut down uh, those now. All right, so we're going to push Ocon around here. And let's put in our go to pit orders for or Perez. And Ocon already in P2. Yes, we're going to cut him down now. Looking good, looking good. Looking good. Perez should be in pit now as Ocon is going to go for another lap. Uh, so we want to keep him nice and tight. Want to have in just enough tires so he doesn't run out on his way back around. And we'll just let Perez keep doing his thing as he's gone to secure P1. We should have gone like no service in there on Perez, but that's all right. Uh, now we're going to go to pit with Ocon for a fresh set of mediums with no service in. Because we're not going to come back to hard tires just in case we get a safety car at the end. We don't want to be on hards at the end of the race. All right, just in case we've learned 
or lesson the hard way that way at Jeddah here that if we do get a safety car and we're on hards our drivers are basically going to lose position even on boost so it makes no sense to be on the hard tires at the end All right so we want to keep them pushing fire it up here we go p3 should have come back to softs i think they're on softs yes they are all right so they're gonna pit this lap where is or ah oh, come on we missed pit that's not good we missed pit with perez though he has a, like a huge lead and we could just come back to hard tires with perez from here then since we missed pit we're just going to keep him fired up and we'll keep Ocon fired up as well putting pressure on p3 and p2 should get the overtake now Ocon down the inside there you go and then we should now use this straight and freeway stand or lead there let's see what tires are at hard tires we're stopping leclerc medium tires all right so that's good news for us and uh for Ocon. so what that means is that we could now go back to pit with Ocon here uh with servicing instead of going for three laps and as you can see we've created a huge distance uh, with Ocon, so he should get a free pit stop in and out. And Leclerc uh, Perez now in. Here comes Ocon on his way out for his free pit stop. Then we're just going to cut him down here to conserve and let him cruise. As we do, we're doing three laps, so we're just going to let him cruise for the remaining three. Because we missed pit with Perez, we're on hearts. So we could go to finish on those hearts instead of going back to pit. We could cut him down there as well to regular driving. So he slows down before he runs out of fuel. And by the looks of this, it's another 47 points secured for us. All right. Let's boost Ocon up the straight. And then we'll slow him back down after the straight is over. As we see or Perez now down to low fuel. As Ocon continue to grind, P3 is like right down the road from us. There he is right there. Keep a close eye on P3. We could boost Ocon now from there to finish. And we could cut or Perez from there to finish as well. And let's cut him back down to regular driving here. As we have created a nice little piece of distance. And we see P3 going back to pit. P2 already went back to pit. So no issues, no worries here uh, for us. All right, so great final race here. And that's... Another 47, so that's eight 47s for us uh, in the opening round here, which is really nice. Really, really nice. There we go. Perez going through the line. Ocon going through the line. Beautiful race uh, for both our drivers there. All right. So let me know down in the comments how you guys did in your opening round. Let me know down in the comment. Uh, remember to smash the like button let's get some likes on this video this is currently our best we've done in a gp event for the 2022 season so far uh, hopefully tomorrow we could duplicate uh, and do as good as today and possibly score a perfect score tomorrow all right so that's basically going to be it for this one and i'll catch you guys in the next one Wait, you guys want to see the final score? Yeah, we, we don't have maxed out parts. So the fastest lap, uh, we're not really going to challenge for the fastest lap because we don't have max parts. Uh, there we go. P3 is where we're currently sitting. These guys have a faster lap than us because they have max parts. And we don't have max parts, so we won't be able to challenge for the fastest lap. But that's basically going to be it for this one. Remember to smash the like button. If you haven't already done so, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Walk good, guys. Bye. Shout out to Vidmantis, Alfredo Jr., Touch My Dilly, and Xavier Magni.
avoid, avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways.